हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स लर्न इंटेंसिव और एम्फेटिक प्रोनाउंस अ क्विक रिकैप व्हाट आर प्रोनाउंस शी बेक द केक हियर शी इज द प्रोनाउन नाउ दे आर सर्टन प्रोनाउंस व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर एम्फेसिस ओनली शी बेक द केक इन दिस केस इफ वी वांट टू एम्फेसाइज और वी वांट टू पुट द स्ट्रेस ऑन द फैक्ट दैट इट वाज शी who baked the cake how do we say that we'll say she herself baked the cake here it means the same that she baked the cake we are just putting emphasis on the fact that she did it herself the other way to emphasize is she baked the cake herself so such pronouns which are used for emphasis are called intensive pronoun and they are also known as emphatic pronouns now let's see different examples of intensive or emphatic pronouns i myself saw the accident here myself is giving emphasis that it was me who saw the accident next they themselves cleaned the shelves we ourselves lifted the heavy machine another example the dog itself caught the fish let's see more examples i wrote the essay myself they cleaned the shelves themselves so intensive or emphatic pronoun can come either after the subject or at the end of the sentence we lifted the heavy bags ourselves how do we verify even if we drop the emphatic or intensive pronoun the meaning of the sentence remains the same for example i myself saw the accident now let's drop the word myself what will remain i saw the accident here the meaning of the sentence remains the same another example we lifted the heavy machine ourselves let's remove ourselves the sentence remaining would be we lifted the heavy machine here the meaning of the sentence remains unchanged now let's see more example we should have faith in ourselves is it an example of intensive pronoun let's verify first let's drop this word ourselves what do we get we should have faith in the sentence is incomplete and it doesn't make sense hence we can say here the word ourselves is compulsory for the meaning of sentence ourselves is not an example of intensive pronoun let's take another example he made himself a cup of coffee now if we drop the word himself what do we get he made a cup of coffee here the sentence is right but it is not complete in the sense the information is lost we don't know for whom the coffee was made he had made the cup of coffee for himself so here in this case removal of word himself has changed the meaning of the sentence hence here himself is not an intensive pronoun for those who are curious these two are examples of reflexive pronoun which we will understand in next lesson so to summarize the intensive pronouns could be singular or in plural form for example myself yourself himself herself itself are the examples of intensive pronouns in singular form whereas ourselves yourselves themselves these are the examples of intensive pronouns in plural form and always remember intensive or emphatic pronouns are just used to add emphasis to the subject and also remember the removal of an intensive pronoun does not affect the meaning of the sentence thank you for watching bye bye